In this week's Tablet Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to include multiple text files on two lines. So for example, you'll see up here in the upper left, I have Dallas Mavericks, and on a second line, I have the arena that they play in. But I wanted those in one field and on two lines. Actually, this is quite simple to do once you know how to do it. So let's start by connecting to some data. I'm going to go ahead and connect to the, <clears throat> the, the Steph Curry data set for this week. And the first thing I want to do is I want to pivot these fields. So I'm going to select all those fields, and I'm going to go ahead and pivot. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to have a separate column for category and a, and a, a different category for score. So I'm going to rename this one category. And I'm going to re rename this one uh, score. OK. So we're all set there. <clears throat> and if I start here, you can see I could put team here and I could put arena next to it. But I want these to be combined into one field. OK, so let's go ahead and start by creating a calculated field. I'm going to call it uh, team plus arena. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the team and then I'm going to add to that the arena. And let's see what we get. I'm going to go ahead and drag that field out. And you'll see we just get the fields smushed together. So the next, so what I need to do in order to make this work is I need to go ahead and put a quote after the plus, go down to a new line, do another quote, and then add the arena. So by doing uh, this portion here that I've highlighted, you do a quote and then a re carriage return and then, an, and then add the second field. <clears throat> what you'll see now, if I go ahead and make these a bit bigger, you can now see I have the fields on multiple lines. Okay, great. So from that point, there's a couple things I wanted to do to clean this up. First thing I want to do is I want to have the team name in capital letters. So I'm going to make this upper, uppercase, because I want to have the team in uppercase and the uh, value in lowercase. Next thing I want to do is I want to put category in the columns. And I need to rearrange these, so I'm going to go ahead and change the default sort, default properties sort. And on here, I'm going to do it manually. I know that total score is last, that's good. So saltiness is first, and then presentation freshness, I believe, was second, butter, crunchiness, something like that. And you'll see Tableau automatically reorders them in the top. <clears throat> From here, I'm just going to put the score onto color, and I can see his, his ratings. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch this to one of their team colors. And I think uh, what I do to get team colors is I go out to a website um, called uh, Team Colors, Team Hex Codes. All right, and then from here, I'm going to go ahead and pick the NBA. And I'll see, go down to the Gold State Warriors. I'm gonna, I like their blue, so I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm just gonna click on that, change the hex code, hit okay. And now I've got my nice sequential palette, but <clears throat> I don't wanna actually show the total score. So let me go ahead and exclude that because it throws off the, uh, the rest of the view. I then went ahead and I put some, some light borders around them. Actually, I don't wanna do it that way. I want to uh, go to the uh, format pane and do borders. And I want to do, uh, I want to go ahead and get rid of the row and column dividers. So that's fine. And around the cell, I'm going to put borders. There we go. So that's good. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hide the field label for the columns. I'm going to format these and right align them so they look more like the original visualization. I don't, also don't want them in bold. I'm just going to do uh, Tableau book. Make them eight point, and then I'm going to align them to the right. There we go. I'm going to, from there, I'm going to hide the field labels. And then uh, it looks like I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, so let me go ahead and format this field as well. I'm going to just set it up the same way as the others. Tableau book and eight. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and turn the numbers on. And in the labels, I'm going to go ahead and center align them. I'm going to make them nice and big. So let's maybe make them 14 point. And there we go. So now we have our nice little 
um, our nice little chart. I can go ahead and drag these out so they're uh, a little bit larger. And if I scroll down, you'll see um, some of the teams have different, uh, let's see, so um, I wanna make these a bit wider so that the team names all fit on one row. And I think that's it. And then the last thing I want to do is I don't have my category in here, but I want my grand totals. So I'm gonna go ahead and show my, um, uh, my uh, column totals. Oh, I always get that backwards. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my row totals. And then I'm also going to move those to the left, or no, I don't want to do that, undo. And I'm going to just rename this one, so format it, and I'm going to rename it uh, total score. <clears throat> okay, and there we go. So now we have our nice little view. If I go ahead and sort that, it's sorted by the total score, and there we go, we have our visualization done. But again, the important part of this tip was to understand how to go ahead and put uh, multiple fields on, or put in this case, two fields on two separate lines. I first learned this tip from Jeff Schaefer back when he and I were presenting together at a Tableau conference presenting multiple tips. So um, uh, credit to Jeff for this tip. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a good day.